In today's episode of Little Known Facts, we're going to take a look at what is going on when you find a bee on the ground, not acting like its usual busy self. Here are a few bee facts to start off with. A whopping 70 out of 100 crop species that provide 90% of the world's food are pollinated by bees. Some of these crops include apples, almonds, broccoli, cherries and blueberries to name but a few. In the UK, there are around 250 species of bees. These are broken down into 224 species of solitary bee. These bees do not have a hive or a queen and instead nest alone, although frequently they choose to live close to other bees. 25 species of bumblebee. Bumblebees do not live in hives, but do live in smaller nests of around 50 to a few hundred bees, and they do have a queen. And finally, one species of honeybee, known of course for their large hives and their honey production. Bees have a tremendous impact on the UK economy, pollinating up to £1.8 billion worth of crops each year. Recent European reports suggest that 7.7% of bee species in Europe have declining populations, 12.6% have stable populations, and 79% are unknown. So, let's take a look at some of the causes for these grounded bees. A common cause, especially in the UK, is for a lone bee to be caught in bad weather. This could be sudden low temperatures, high winds, or rain. Another cause of grounded bees is simply exhaustion. It takes a lot of effort flying from flower to flower, collecting nectar and pollen, and with bees' natural habitat ever in decline, they often have to fly further between locations. This can lead to dehydration and exhaustion. There are a few things to consider before trying to help a grounded bee. Recent research from the Queen Mary University of London has shown that some bumblebees will rest for 45 minutes before again taking flight. So best to keep an eye on your grounded bee for a little while before trying to help. Another point of consideration is the location of the grounded bee. If it is a busy footpath where the bee is likely to be trodden, then a move whenever it is safe to do so is suggested. The first and best solution to help a bee is to gently move the bee to the nearest wildflower. This way the bee can eat its natural diet of pollen and nectar. If there are no wildflowers nearby, then a second option of sugar water solution can be used. Simply mix one tablespoon of white, granulated sugar with one tablespoon of water. Then place the spoon within reach of the grounded bee. Finally, you can find links below to a few great bee charities where you can help bees all around the world, no sugar required. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more little known facts.